Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to make a YouTube thumbnail using Canva. And by the way, before we get started, I'm going to ask you kindly to get a piece of paper, a pencil, or a pen just to write down notes, okay? And if you don't have that one on your hand right now, just fire up your handy dandy notepad right here on your PC. And then this is your notepad right here to take down notes as I progress, especially on Canva. There are going to be steps right there that you should follow if you want to have if you want to have the best output available regarding this tutorial, okay? And by the way, guys, if you see I'm using Microsoft Edge, I just want to let you know that if you want to use Google Chrome, um, Safari, Opera Mini, even Mozilla Firefox, if it's still there, I'm not quite sure though, everything is good, every browser is available for you, as long, of course, you have access to the internet, okay? So that being said, let's head straight to Canva. So let's search Google right here, so I'm going to get you step by step right there. And then with this one, just type in Canva. Easy as that. So the very first result should be the one that you should click. It's going to be www.canva.com. And this should be the landing page. So as you can see here, I have an account already logged in. If you don't have an account yet, just use your Google Chrome. However, you need to have access to that Google Chrome because Canva will send a verification code on the specific email you use to create an account using Canva. Okay? That being said, since we're going to create a thumbnail, please hover your mouse on the right section and click on create a design. Here you're going to have the suggested format, which is document, whiteboard, video, presentation, um, Facebook post, which is the landscape. And there we go, we have YouTube thumbnail right here. You also have YouTube banner. And then you can also start creating from your media as it is. So since we're going to go after YouTube thumbnail, let's click on this one. It's going to be 1280 by 720 pixels. And with this, this should be a presetted format of presetted thumbnail specifically using for YouTube thumbnail. Okay? So the very first thing I want to share to you guys is how to get a photo from a video. Imagine you have a photo and then you just want to get your video right. For example, let me just show you a YouTube video right here. And then let's just use this. Um, Valorant right here. Imagine this video right here from my favorite uh, vlogger. It's auto playing. So imagine this one. Okay, this one right here. Imagine you just want to get her photo and then you want to use that photo to incorporate on your um, thumbnail. Let's just search up free videos right here. Free videos. Okay, I'm just going to click videos right there. And then stock videos right here. For example, you want to get this specific lady, this specific lady uh, photo from this specific video. So the fastest way I can suggest is going to be this one. Click on full screen and then open up your snipping tool. What is snipping tool you ask? Snipping tool is a pre-installed um, app on every Windows PC out there. Okay, so click on that one. Okay, just hit uh, open. Click on full screen and then open. This one, let me just wait for that to remove. Click on snipping tool, and then you can just go through right there. Don't get the icons on the bottom, and you're good to go. So you have your photo right there. Now let's save on this for right here. Make sure you're gonna save it as JPEG or JPEG, JPEG, and then photo right there. I'm just saying photo. So that specific photo now you can use it on Canva. Okay. Now, for example, you want to use that photo now. Since we get, when you use it, just click on this Apple right here, and then upload files right there. And then where should we save it? The where can you find it? This one right there. Again. So we're going to use this photo as a sample for our thumbnail logo. Now how can we put it here? Just drag it. Simple as that. Perfect. And then just simply open it right there. Now, we're just using the person's photo. We don't want to use the background. We don't want to use anything else. How can we do that? So the best thing about Canva is it has a background remover. Yes, guys, you heard me right. You have a background remover right here built in within Canva. How to access it? Just click on the photo. Hover on the left side. Edit for right there. And then you'll see this background remover tool. However, you're going to see a crown logo right here. What is this crown logo, you ask? This is going to be Canva Pro. What is Canva Pro? Let me just click on this one. So Canva Pro is a paid subscription within Canva. Now the pricing differs from um, 
the longer or the long longevity of a subscription, we can just check it out the pricing later on. So with this one, you should just buy it. It's actually a good one. It's actually a bet, uh, best or a, a great tool to remove background. However, if you don't want to buy it just yet, same as me, go to Google, search background remover right there, and then open this link right here. With this one, upload an image, upload the photo we just took, and then click on download. Now we have this photo right here. Let's go back to Canva. I'm just going to upload another file, which is the one that we downloaded earlier. Photo right there. It will upload right here. Now let me just remove this photo on our template. Now I can just add this one, and there you go. I have this background removed perfectly, right? From here, let me just compare the two. From this one, actually from this one to this one, right? It's actually good. So let me just remove this with the background. Now, I'm going to use this template layer on. I'm going to use this person layer for my thumbnail logo. Now, next one I want to teach you guys is how to add gradient background. Just go to this section right here. Please take note that this is going to be your tool section. From elements, text, brand hub, uploads, draw, product, even apps are right here. So let's go to elements right there, okay? So from here, just type in gradient. And with this one, you have a lot of options right here. You can either use graphics or photos. Please take note, there are samples here with Canva Pro subscription requirement. So let's just use the ones without the requirement. And I chose this one. Let me just fill up the space. Okay. So that's how you add the gradient background. Now next, how to add the photo. Let's add the logo we got earlier. So I have already told you how to add the photo. Just go to this upload section. Click on upload files and choose the file you want to upload. Now, with this one, let's just add the logo right there. Okay? Now, this is looking a little bit more better. Let's just add it on the center plot. Okay? Now, before we proceed, I just want to share you guys how much are the pricing for Canva Pro. Okay? Let's just search it up. Canva Pro prices. So, Canva Pro costs 119 or 99 or let's just say 120 dollars per year on my end on uh, if you convert it on my currency it's gonna be i think um six thousand pesos per year give or take so that's actually a good price per year considering how many or how much tools canvas giving you right anyway um that's the pricing for it now let's add shape let's go through this thumbnail right now how to add shape, go back to elements right there, and then remove this uh, search history, of course, and these are the shapes right here, lines and shape. Just click see all right here to expand everything. Now, these are the shapes available for Canva. Let's add this one right there, okay? Perfect. Now, what if I want to incorporate this photo on this shape right here? How can I do that? Now, let me just remove both of these elements, and then look for specific silhouette we're gonna call it silhouette right there there you go just scroll down a little bit more and add frames we're gonna call it frames make sure this is how it looks like the the background of the frame and then with that one just pull out your photo hold it and then paste it on that frame right there there you go it's already on the frame now since it's already uh, the background has been removed it looks like you just cut it out perfectly right how it's better with the background. Maybe just detach a photo right there. I'm going to use the one with the background. Okay? Now, there you go. That's how you put a photo inside a frame or inside the shape. Okay? Now, moving on of the logo, I'm going to add a text now. Since this is going to be our logo, I'm going to get a text right there. I have a lot of choices right here as a pre template. I can um, add my own settings right here, or rather, I can search everything right there. So let's just use this one, a pre-template. Okay. I can also put this on front. Let me just use that one. Give me a second here. And then I'm just going to change the tile. Let's just say travel, since this girl looks like traveling. And then minimize the font right there. Give me a second. Just keep on clicking with your desired font size okay 
I think this is going to be good to go. Perfect. Now with that one, you can you can just edit how you please. Again, Canva is just going to be limited by your imagination, okay? I'm just put it right there so give it a a background effect right here, okay? Okay, that one. So that's how you add the text on a logo. You can also add a customized text right there, add the text box. Text box right here. And with this text box, you can also edit everything. You can also edit it as it is, or just simply leave it as text but right there. If not, you can also animate it with the tools above. So the font uh, style will be on this one. The font size, of course, is going to be this one right here. The color will be on this section. So again, what I like about Canva, if you choose a text, it will give you suggestions regarding your background on what photo or what color you choose. The best color for your background, right? And then, with this one, you can also use the effects animate and position. Especially this transparency right there and position, of course. The thing I like is going to be this one, animate. It's just like a PowerPoint presentation right there, right? And then effects is just going to be this one right here. Same as the first URL text right there. Okay, those are the tools that you can use when creating a text. Let me just remove that one. Now, next one I want to share to you guys on regarding Canva is going to be graphic element. How to edit this photo or logo right here. So, which is just going to be called color grading, right? Just again, click on this one, the background. Click on edit photo right there. This is how you change your grading. Color grading to be exact. Okay. Click on background right there. You can detect the background of this image, you can still adjust the whole image. Since we already incorporated a photo right there, you can specifically edit the grading of the specific background, the grid one. Now let's just edit the whole image as it is. You can edit the brightness over there, the contrast, the highlights, the shadows, of course, the whites and blacks. There you go. Right? So again guys, the limit here is just your imagination. You can just show your skills on Canva. Those are the basic things that I want to share to you guys. Now, since I think this is a sample logo right now, okay, how to save this? Now, you cannot see a save button right here. I actually don't have a save button because we don't call it save button on Canva. The thing we call it is going to be this one. Click on share and then collaboration link only you can access. Of course, I'm going to explain that later on on the next video. Now, simply click on this one. Click on download. You can also share on social, print your design, and click more right here to share it on social media. Okay? However, just to save it, click on download right there. Choose the file type, PNG, PDF standard, PDF to print. It's up to you guys. You can make it also a GIF or GIF. So click on PNG suggested. Of course, choose a page. Since we added the page earlier, let me just remove this one. So we won't get confused and just click on download specifically. Okay, by the way guys, if you are Canva Pro, you can adjust the size, the transparent background, compressed file for lower quality, up to you. Now click on download, it's just that. Canva will start processing, downloading your photo right here. And it will go directly on your computer over here. Easy as that, right? So perfect. So again, that's how you make a YouTube thumbnail on Canva. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.